Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about ng-if in Angular 15. In the previous videos where we have discussed about the uh, decorators and component modules. So in this video, we will discuss about the ng-if. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. So this is the example which we are working currently and we have seen how we create this kind of the application. So like we know, when we give the command ng-serve-o, then it runs this application and when we go on the browser, we can see it is showing like localhost 4200. This is uh, my first application uh, basically. So whatever the message we are showing here, it is printing there. So now let's understand first what is the ng-if. So ng-if is very useful if we want to show or hide the DOM element uh, based on the condition. So that is the basically ng-if. ng-if is a directive. That means it can be added in any tag in our template in the sense like I'm going to add particular tags on based on particular condition. Then I can go with ngif condition. So ngif is a basically a structural directive and it is a prefix with the star. So that we will see in a bit with the practically how we can create the ngif. Ngif work on true or false basis based on that is reflected on the browser. So we know generally like in any kind of the technology when we work with the if condition. So if condition always work with the true or false basis. Similar to that in the angular, it basically start with the star ng if. And here you can see the format of writing the ng condition. So here for an example, we are going to give the if condition for a div. Then div inside that we are putting star ng if equal to and then particular condition and based on that we are printing this div. So let's see with an example this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a one div here and I'm saying this is, so here what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take the interpolation. So basically this value we will show in the component side. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to show this title here. So if any value we want to see from the component like this variable I want to print here then we can use the interpolation. So here I have given and this is the uh, title. Let's give the space here. So it is basically what it is saying angular 15 app. Let's save this one. So if you will go on the browser it is saying this is angular 15 app. Now what I want I want to show this div based on particular condition. So what I am going to do either first thing you, what you can do I will say star ng if and here I am going to say true. So if it is true then obviously it will show this particular div. But what if I will say it is false. If I will say it is false then it is we can see it is not showing that particular div. So this is the way like basically uh, star ng if works in the angular side. Now we can show this based on one variable also. For an example, I'm going to say like visible and here I'm going to do, I'm going to assign this value as in true. Now here, if I will take this value here, so visible, when I will save this one, so it is not finding this visible. Okay, so we didn't save this component side. Let's save this first. So we can see the compilation successful. Let's go on the browser. Currently we see it because it is true here. Now here, if I will make it false. Now let's save it, go on the browser. We can see that div is not showing. So this is the way basically like we show particular div or any kind of the data based on the ngf. Here even you can put like particular count if it is greater than 10 or 20 then only it will show. So such kind of the things also we can do. Now for an example here I will take like num1 is equal to 10 and num2 is equal to 5. So These two variables I have taken here. Now what if I want to show that number like basically like if num1. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to say num1 if it is greater than uh, like 20, then what will happen? This title will show. Now if you will go on the browser, it is not showing and the reason is because num1 value is not greater than 20. Now if I will make it as a 40 
and now let's see on the browser we can see that particular value is coming so this is the way we show the particular data like particular day or any dom element if we want to show or hide based on the condition then we go with the njf so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you